Hey, yo, what is going on, YouTube? What is going on, NSG Squad? What it do? What it do? What it do? We are back on this month 15, a rare occasion. I know, I know, it seems like I never, ever, ever, ever post month videos anymore. But the game mode, not really too crazy about it as I was before. Uh, I'll play games here and there. But at the end of the day, I'm really, really waiting for this Madden 16 to come out. Uh, this Madden, I actually started playing Mutt at like early October, mid-October, so I was kind of late. But when Madden 16 comes out, I'll be like ready, firing ready to play Mutt 16. And I'm freaking very excited as Leonard Williams gets the sack. Leonard Williams has been the beast for me on this team. I cannot express how good he is. Joe Hayden making plays out here. Stretching out to get that interception, and we have good field position. As you see me running it with Darren Sproles, ooh, hitting him with the mean, mean juke. Darren Sproles, a freaking beast. I had his 81 overall base card, but that's when I was like in pro first string, second string. But it was doing work for me. As Ryan Tannehill, he's getting the first down, second and seven, dropping back, finding Devontae Parker, my new wide receiver, and he gets into the end zone for his first touchdown on our NSG squad. First and ten, my opponent strikes out to the left side. I think he has, I think that was Amari Cooper. And Amari Cooper is really nice. Amari Cooper and, and Kevin White, man, those cars are ridiculous. They play way better than what their price is. But I will stick with my Mike Evans and Sammy Watkins and Devontae Parker. And you cannot forget about Kenny Stills getting real in the field. As second and six, we had the sack with Leonard Williams. He decides to go for it, and he actually gets it. Which is, which is pretty surprising. Well, not really surprising because, you know, this year's Madden, you could kind of get it anytime. But Leonard Williams coming off the edge with the sack. Jerry Hughes picks up the fumble recovery. Leonard Williams is a fucking beast. And we already know what's going to happen. Your peer has quit the game. Wow. Crazy. But on to the next game, playing in the futuristic stadium, playing against the coach. This is an away game, which is rare for us. But you see my opponent. Oh! Get big one time. Dante Hightower making that slip. I don't, I don't know what you would call that, but shit. That shit was not. I told you I've been working on my users. I told you. I have been working on my users. Third and fourth. Dropping back, finding Mike Evans with the sure hands. Moving the ball, moving the chains, first and ten. Dropping back with Ryan Tannehill, rolling out the pocket. I'm thinking I'll see something, but I didn't see anything. And I tried to throw it away, but I didn't. So we just lost a shitload of yards. You see me trying to gain it back with Darren Sproles. But it makes it a 39, and he's using his D-line. And you know that Seattle play, it always leaves that slot receiver wide open. And that's Sammy Watkins. Mr. Watkins with the touchdown. So we have a 7-0 lead. First and 10. I think that is Barry Sanders he is running it with. Man, let me say let me say this. When that Barry Sanders card came out where you had to do like a fucking set, like the ultimate trophy, Barry Sanders. Like I thought he would have been the best back. That's Paris Cox making an interception. Interrupting me while I'm trying to speak. But back to what I was talking about when I was talking about Barry Sanders. I thought that that card was gonna be the best running back card in the game but apparently like a lot of people were saying that it was a huge disappointment it wasn't playing how it was supposed to play what are my opponents doing your peer has quit the game again again i am trying to to make a decent video and my opponents keeps quitting how am i supposed to make a decent video when they keep quitting but on to the next game playing away again this is rare to see me play away games but I was playing these games while I was at uh, my brother's house and I guess it's a different network and his internet is way better than mine so I guess which means we play a lot more away games but it doesn't matter because I seem to play better at away games than I do at home first and ten that is Franco Harris let me tell you something this Franco Harris he may not be fast but he is tough to bring down extremely tough to bring down he's faster than linebackers but like I think his speed is only like a 92 93 but it, it, I had a really hard time bringing him down and I had a hard time bringing uh, Gronk down because Gronk although he's a big body he is shifty as hell and that is Ben Roethlisberger he is running with Ben Roethlisberger is big as fuck too 
but oh you saw that user pick get big one time rewind it back if you have to that is Shane Ray my new left end getting that user pick but I'm a nice guy so uh, I like to give things right back to people and I gave him the ball right back and I I threw a pick the play after so first and ten he has the ball back Franco Harris ooh man like it was just a, I, I really hated playing this game because I had a hard time bringing Franco Harris down but look at this first and ten a huge gap his own line was pretty decent so on second and goal that's again Franco Harris again it's like my it's like my defense was afraid to tackle him I mean I'd be afraid to tackle Frank too Frank the tank there's a reason why they call him Frank the Tank. But I got my own version of Frank the Tank, and that is Darren Sproles getting, getting about like seven yards. Darren Sproles on the screenplay, shoving his way for a first down. Third and ten. Dropping back and finding Mike Evans. Mike Evans is probably, I think Mike Evans is one of the best receivers in the game, and he goes for so cheap. If you need a, a decent receiver that has some a, a decent route running, who's a freaking beast, get yourself a Mike Evans, man. Second and three, dropping back. Oh, I don't know if that was a blitz or if my O-line just failed me. But on third and eight, testing his user. Ask him what his user skills can do for him, and he'll say nothing. First and ten, finding Sammy Watkins. Breaking, I thought he could break that tackle. If he would have broken that tackle, that would have been, been six. But on third and goal, I couldn't get that ball out. But... I said, you know what? I've done a, I've done enough dumb mistakes. Let me just go ahead and take my points. And I decided to kick this field goal, giving him only a four-point lead. But he gets the ball back with only 35 seconds left in the oh, my user skills are I, I could have had that user pick, but I was out of position. First and ten, he's dropping back again. Block shedding a sack, a would-be sack, running it with Ben, and almost picking up that first. So with only five seconds left, he's going deep. Third and two. That is Joe Hayden. Two interceptions in this episode. Joe Hayden is becoming an all-star right now. But right now, we are in the second half. Yes, he did get the ball back. I didn't realize it until the second half started. And he is going deep. And that is two. I don't know who that is two. I would want to say Plexico Burris. He's not the fastest, but his release is amazing. Now he's trying to hit us with the screen pass, but we are all on top of it. Second and 18, dropping back, and you see the user skills. I knew where he was going. He didn't want to throw it to my users. It's a good thing not to test my users. Third and 27. Franco, I really thought he was about to get the first down. I really would have been upset if he would have got the first down. But my opponent decides to take the field goal, which is a smart move. It's just better to take the points because momentum does play a big part in this year's Madden. And it probably will next year. So if you either miss a field goal or you don't get on fourth down, all the momentum goes to him. But second and three, I see he's in cover three. And this, I swear, this is the best play to play in cover three. Sammy Watkins was wide open on that play. Amazing, amazing play. Whenever, if you ever see your opponent running cover three, do that play action wide receiver in. I'm telling you, that slot receiver well, you do need a fast slot receiver. But that slot receiver will be long gone down the field. But first and 10, running it with Frank the Tank. Taylor Mays blasting him. Woo! Pause if needed. Third and seven, dropping back. And who was that? Was that Joe Hayden making the play again? Crazy. Fourth and seven, and he's going for it. Why? Why? So I get decent field goal position. I get decent field position. All I have to do is just run the clock down. And kick a field goal and he loses the game but i don't play that way i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna cheese him you see a quick pass out to jason Witten. if only jason Witten was faster that would have been a td and i'm really thinking about getting jerry cook back on the team because jerry cook is a freaking beast a freaking beast when, it's, when it comes to that tight end position second and five dropping back finding craig olsen oh hitting it with the juke move Greg Olsen, a.k.a. Mr. Reliable. Second and ten, handing it off to Darren Sproles, getting down at the one. And on second and goal, I see Greg Olsen. Dangerous pass, but Greg Olsen with the shirt hands, a.k.a. Mr. Reliable, catches the touchdown pass. So we are up now by seven. So my opponent has a little bit, a little bit over a minute left to go. In the fourth quarter, he's dropping back, finding Antonio Brown. He needs a touchdown to score. 
to tie the game. First and 10, dropping back, going deep and finding, I don't know who 82 is, that's Frank the Tank. Finding Franco Harris, first and 10. He's just, he's just really dinking and diving, dinking and diving down the field and finding, oh my goodness, he's really, he's really dotting that out. First and 10 again, dropping back. These drag patterns are killing me. I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't score. So on third and five, Dante Hightower, I saw it coming. Oh my goodness. Fourth and five, I have to try to do this again and that is Taylor Mays batting the ball down. So we go ahead and win this game. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. A rare occasion. If you guys want more Madden videos, make sure you make sure you, you strike the like button, you smash the like button. And if you want to see more mud, make sure you subscribe. Just let me know. But as always, this is your boy NSG Commentary, and I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.